Barbie. Hi, fearless kids. It's me, Danny. Hey, fearless kids. Hey, fearless kids. Hi, hey, fearless kids. Hey, fearless kids. Hey, fearless kids. Three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! It's gonna be an amazing year. Wishing you a fantastic New Year. And I'm here to wish you all a very happy, happy and blessed New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year yeah. from my family to yours. And I just want to tell you guys, the New Year is finally here. New Year. We love you all so much and we are praying for you and all the beautiful things that Jesus has for you in this new year. It's such a blessing being able to teach you about Jesus virtually this year and I'm so excited what God is going to bring to you guys for the new year and I cannot wait to be part of it. 2021 will be amazing. Yeah. We're going to do great things. We can't wait to hang in 2021. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Tomorrow is a brand new year, a whole bunch of great hopefully new things that you can look forward to and just know we love you and we look forward to seeing you um wishing you a safe holiday with you and your family we hope you have an amazing new year miss you guys can't wait to spend so much time together in 2021 I hope to see you guys every sunday at church in our classes and i cannot wait, wait to see, see you. you at church love you i love you so much we bye. love you all bye. bye guys see ya Hey Fearless Kids, join us every Thursday at 5 p.m. for Zoom parties. It's going to be so much fun. I'll see you there.
Hey Fearless Kids, it's time for our memory verse. So go ahead and grab your Bibles and turn with me to the Old Testament in the book of Lamentations. We're gonna go to chapters three, verse 22 through 23. Let's do it. And the word of God says, the Lord's love never ends. His mercies never stop. They are new every morning. Lord, your loyalty is great. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. Mm. <laughs> Let's see, eat healthier. fearless kids. It's so good to see you. I'm so glad you're with us today. Can you believe that we are already in the year 2021? It's a brand new year and it's so exciting because we get new chances to do so many fun and exciting things this year. I'm actually writing my new year's resolutions right now. Have any of you ever written a new year's resolution? A resolution is when you take a goal for yourself. Normally people will do it at the beginning of a new year and they'll write some goals down for them that they want to do throughout the year. Like for example, me, I've decided that I want to eat healthier this year. No more cookies for me. I've also decided that I want to pray more this year. And I want to read my Bible more. Read Bible three times a day. That's a good goal to have. I love New Year's resolutions because sometimes it gives me the chance to do something that I didn't get to do last year. It's a whole new opportunity. And you know what? Now that I think about it, it reminds me of God and how God gives us new chances every single day. You know, there's a really fun Bible verse that we can find in Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 through 23. Actually, I have my Bible right here. Why don't we read it together? Lamentations 3, my bookmark, 22, perfect. Okay, the Bible says, The Lord's love never ends. His mercies never stop. They are new every morning. Lord, your loyalty is great. How cool is that? This Bible verse is saying that God's love for us never ends. And God's love for us is so strong that each and every day he gives us a chance. If we make mistakes, he gives us another chance. If we decide maybe to do something that we know we shouldn't do, God gives us another chance every single day. Isn't that an exciting thing? You know, there's also a Bible story that I think we should definitely watch together. It's about a man who was not such a great person, but when he met Jesus, his life changed forever. He was given a new chance too. Let's watch it together. Stories of the Bible, Zacchaeus. This is Zacchaeus. Hey there. Who was a tax collector and very rich. Tax collectors were hated because many people thought they were liars and cheaters. Boo. <laughs> Zacchaeus lived in Jericho, and one day, Jesus was passing through Jericho. What's going on? Jesus is here! Woohoo! Zacchaeus wanted to see who Jesus was. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Hey, watch where you're going. But he was too short to see above the crowd. Oh! That's it! So he ran ahead to a place where he knew Jesus would come. He climbed to a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus. When Jesus came to that place, he looked up and saw Zacchaeus in the tree. Oh, hey there, friend. Who, me? Yeah, you. He said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. I must stay at your house today. Oh, all right. Zacchaeus came down quickly he was pleased to have Jesus in his house. All the people saw this and began to complain. Ugh. Look at the kind of man Jesus stays with. Zacchaeus is a sinner. But Zacchaeus said to Jesus, 
I will give half my money to the poor. If I have cheated anyone, I will pay that person back four times more. Jesus said, Salvation has come to this house today. What? This man truly belongs to the family of Abraham. The son of man came to find lost people and save them. Wow, didn't you love that story? That's one of my favorites in the New Testament and one of my favorite stories of Jesus showing so much love and compassion for another person. Now, like we saw in our lesson, Zacchaeus was a man who was a tax collector. And back in Jesus' times, tax collectors weren't very liked. They would take money and oftentimes they would take more money than they should have and keep it for themselves. But he wanted to see Jesus. And did you notice how wonderful Jesus was? Was that Zacchaeus, when he wanted another chance and wanted to change and be better, Jesus gave it to him and Jesus showed him love. After that, we know that Zacchaeus changed his life completely and he followed Jesus. Isn't that cool? That's a wonderful reminder and one of the many stories in the Bible that Jesus is a God who gives us second chances and third chances and infinity chances. And while we were watching the video, I thought to myself, I know a really fun activity. It's kind of like this. Just like Zacchaeus, before we met Jesus, our hearts were full of sin. This is our heart. And our heart was just full of sin. And sin could be a lot of things. Sometimes sin is disobeying our parents. Sometimes it's saying something mean to a person. Sometimes it's having a bad attitude. Our hearts full of sin. I'm gonna write that down. Sin. But when we're living in sinful nature, which just means when we're not walking in God's ways, we tend to think that our hearts look like this, when our hearts really look like this. But that's where Jesus comes in. This tub of water represents Jesus. And Jesus exposes our hearts so we see that there's sin in us but jesus because we can't hide from him he makes our hearts clean and we no longer have any sin in our lives jesus gives us second chances jesus gives us third chances Jesus gives us infinity chances. See, sin no longer has a place over our hearts and our lives because Jesus comes and changes everything. And every single time you maybe feel like you make a mistake, God will always give you another chance because he loves you and because he wants more than anything for you to be a part of his family. You know, why don't we take a moment right now and invite Jesus into our hearts? It's a new year. It's a new chance for us to start and realign our hearts with Jesus. So I want you to bow your heads and close your eyes with me and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for your love. Thank you for what you've done for me on the cross. Thank you for washing away all my sins. Come into my heart, make me new. We thank you, Jesus. Be Lord over our lives and teach us how to walk like you, to talk like you, and to love like you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. If you just prayed that prayer with me, this is such an exciting time. Let's celebrate. Now we are part of God's family. Isn't that a great way to start the new year? 
We have infinity chances now. So no matter what, God's love for you will never end. And he will always, always, always give you a chance to walk in his ways. Isn't that exciting? With God, nothing is impossible. Well, I can't wait for this new year and what it has in store for each and every one of us. Remember, fearless kids, God loves you so much. And all he wants is for you to get close to him. Well, we'll see you next time, fearless kids. We can't wait. Bye.
What a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next week.